What's up guys, Cody from Pink Gorilla here. It is August 5th and I've got some really cool stuff here at the Bellevue store that I'd like to share with you. First off, back in stock are our classic Pink Gorilla posters. We've got a ton of them here, they're only $5 each, and come and get yours while they last. Also, today I've got a whole lot of games to show you that are all about money. First off, 50 Cent G Unit. It's a really funny <laughs> and actually kind of fun third person shooter game. Uh, it has a lot to do with money because of the character's name and because he just filed for bankruptcy not too long ago. Also, we've got Scarface, The World is Yours. Uh, to me, this is a very funny game because I really like the Scarface movie and I really like the ending where, uh, spoiler alert, uh, the character dies. So this game actually picks up during the famous mansion fight scene and you are tasked with surviving it and then picking up where he left off. So, you know, completely destroying the lesson of the movie. Uh, next up, we've got Vegas Stakes. If you're a big gambler, uh, pick up this on Super Nintendo. This box copy is actually in nearly perfect condition. Um, so, collectors, here it is. Also, if you like the classic Monopoly, but want a new spin on the challenge, come pick up Japanese Monopoly. Yes, a box copy of the Super Famicom version of Monopoly. And finally, something that is really cool, it's Itadaki Street. If you haven't heard of this, there is an English copy. Uh, it's on the Nintendo Wii and it's got Mario in it and a couple other Mario characters. So this game, if you haven't played it, it's basically been called like uh, Monopoly with Insider Trading. It's it's pretty cool. You definitely want to check it out. Although uh, I recommend getting it in English if you're new to it. <laughs> and finally, I've got Mega Man 5 on original Nintendo. Very rare, very cool, and the sticker's in near perfect condition. And speaking of Mega Man, Capcom has announced that Mega Man Legacy Collection, that's Mega Man 1 through 6, will be coming out August 25th. It will be $15 digitally, $30 physically, and it'll be available on Xbox One, PS4, and PC. So that's pretty cool. I mean, that Mega Man copy we have here, Mega Man 5, it's $90. So, you know, if you just want to play the games and you don't necessarily want to collect them, that's a pretty good collection to get. Um, and surely it's going to come with some extras like, I don't know, making of or concept art or something like that. Anyway, it'll also be available, by the way, uh, next year, quarter one on 3DS. It is day two of Gamescom and EA has done their big press conference. And uh, here's the things I'm looking forward to most that have been announced at Gamescom. First off, it is LEGO Avengers. I know that sounds weird, but I swear to God, the LEGO Marvel games, the LEGO Batman, LEGO Indiana Jones, Star Wars, they're all really fun. Give them a chance. Uh, anyway, besides that, Homefront Revolution, the first Homefront game was uh, pretty intense. It's uh, about North Korea invading and taking over the United States. Also, there's been a big announcement about Star Wars Battlefront, which I'm looking forward to. It is airship battles, so you can fly like the Millennium Falcon, the Slave One, uh, X-Wings, TIE Fighters, all that up in space, 20 person fighting, uh, it looks really cool. And finally, Mirror's Edge Catalyst, which is the sequel to Mirror's Edge, which came out on PS3 and 360 forever ago. Uh, it's been long overdue for this sequel, and the sequel looks absolutely beautiful. A lot more intense than before. If you haven't played Mirror's Edge, it is a parkour game. Uh, you're basically running all over walls, running up, climbing on buildings. Uh, it's pr it looks pretty fun. I I'm gonna play a couple clips here. Boom! For watching here's a picture of my bird and i playing banjo kazooie and i will see you the day after tomorrow i'm off